welcome. It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week, and this is the lowdown. It's a whole lot of fun today. This is the show that brings you the best of Birmingham and beyond, and what a show we have in store for you today. Indeed. So let's find out what's coming up. Yeah, absolutely. Here is our special guest, the multi-talented Stephen Eagle E is on the sofa to talk about a big event coming up. Nakira, Nakira, Taffy warms up her taste buds at one of the newest African restaurants to open their doors. And Carl's flick pick, our movie Messiah tells us all about the latest films to hit the big screens. That's all to come right here on The Lowdown. Do not go anywhere. Action packed show today, but don't forget we want you to get in touch. So get in touch with us. Use the details on your screen now the email, the Twitter, and the Instagram, which is of course at Made in Beham TV. Hello. Mr. Wiggins, I call him Mr. Wiggle Wiggle. Mr. Wiggle Wiggle, what you're wearing today? Oh, it's Wednesday. You just go straight into it, straight into <laughs> it. Well, today I've got um, a disorder outfit again. They've actually blessed me with a crutch, low crutch trousers and a slate shirt but you'll notice right that the patterns are matching if you can see that there got the orange stuff there the the orange matches so thanks to this disorder and they've also hit me with a waistcoat a samurai looking waistcoat so thank you thank you very much guys absolutely talking about something that's really matching we've got a, a trend a theme going along on this we other couch today we do it's all black with denim for the ladies yep. Stefan, yes. mr e mr ego e as well as t <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on the couch well, loving well, what you're wearing but even <laughs> loving the black flow going on right we, now. we, we, we all look stylish <laughs> we all look stylish <laughs> so stevie i want to i want to start with you thank you for joining joining us on the sofa pleasure, today so to anybody who doesn't know you tell us a bit about you um, well, I'm, my name is Stevie Eagle E. I've been in the game for a while as a startup as an artist and entertainer. I've worked with most people that people would know, but I'm not going to say too much about that. As a rapper from Brooklyn and in early days in the UK and so forth. And I've branched out in my business to do PR, marketing, television, film, and won some awards in films, you know, done some stuff like that. And um, now I'm here in Birmingham with this great guy, T who was, um, you know, on Brain's Got Talent, and we, we met years ago as a performer, and then we started to work together on doing stuff, basically to kind of change the perception of people in, in, in communities with themselves, you know, and just big up the stars in, you know, the community, and we decided to, you know, do stuff. Well, it was more his idea. He brought me on board to kind of just <laughs> bling it out. Yeah, to bling it out. Yeah, he, he brought me in to kind of bling it out a little bit. Um, and I got more and more involved in it, and I love it. Well, we'll be coming back to you in a very f in a short while, but we need to find out exactly what this is all about and what Stefan is all about. So let's take a look. They played over in my head now. Every time. Walking on tiptoes to I mean, Mr. E, I'm calling you Mr. E. That's my, that's my pet name. Call me, yes, call me whatever you like. Just call me at this Incredible video. Wow, what's the name of the song? Overwhelming. Yeah. Overwhelming. I heard over me. <laughs> How oh, no, overwhelming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, tell us a bit about your music career and how it, how it all started off. Um, well, initially I wasn't... Well, the plan wasn't for me to be an artist myself and be at the, you know, at the front, be it singing and what was not. But I kind of like fell into that, and I think it was probably just destined anyway. But I, it was more with writing. I, I consider myself more as, of as a writer and a poet and a storyteller than anything. I'm still kind of getting to terms with being a singer. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's where it kind of, uh, yeah, being a writer, uh, writing music. 
absolutely incredible video, well shot, it's really artistic. Mm. Mr. T, how did you come into the mix of all of this? Oh, okay. Um, so basically, um, I'm the director of the Inspiration Awards. Um, so I started off with uh, Milton Keynes, where my hometown is. Um, so I ran that. And then Birmingham once, and I uh, thought to do Birmingham. So I brought obviously Mr. E, as you say. <laughs> yeah, along it, because obviously he's great at what he does with promo and stuff, because you know sometimes you need a whole team behind you to run the whole event. So I got obviously Mr. E and B as well, she's not here. Um, she runs the other top model side of things, which we'll talk about as well. Yeah, so um, I've obviously was blessed to have a strong team behind us. So um, yeah, I've been, because I've met so many inspirational people, you know, like in, in all around UK, there's so many inspirational people. Like the standard, like general public. Some let's say if you save the cat, you know, someone could find you, ins ins uh, you know, inspiring yeah. and so on. So those are the kind of people that that we want to get noticed. You know, there's so many people who have achieved a lot in the community, but they don't have that recognition. So that's what we're trying to achieve. On that same point, then you, yeah. you mentioned about the Birmingham Inspiration Awards. Just to yeah. talk about that, Stevie, just explain that and what's going to be happening. Okay, it's Birmingham Inspiration Awards and Top Model UK. It's basically we're giving awards out. We've been trawling Birmingham for the <laughs> for the, 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 the best business, the best um, you know, um, most helpful school teachers, the, the most fantastic neighbour, all these types of things. And we put it on social media, we've got thousands, thousands, thousands of votes, people voting and voting, voting, this person, that person, and we whittled it down now after months now to the point where we now have the awards for best business, all this kind of stuff. So we're going to be giving out these awards to these people for, for just basically being human beings, man. <laughs> and then we've, we've got Great DJs. Yeah, we've yeah. got DJs, we've got artists, we've got you know, some people we can't mention that other people know. We've got all kinds of great people who are going to be in the mix. Yes. Basically, uh -huh. we're just saying thank you for being for making us better human beings in whatever it is that you've done in, in, in your field. Incredible. Yes. I mean, it must be a fantastic evening. I can't wait. I'll be there. I've given hey, myself you better a invitation. Be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll invite myself. Yeah, I'm just going to invite myself right now. Yeah, Why definitely. not? And I'm looking night. forward to seeing you doing something on the night yeah, as well. It's incredible. You. A lot of people across the city doing fantastic stuff. Mm -hmm. You are part of that. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah. Steph, just before you go, you, you're going to be performing as well. Yeah. Could you get like a very, very quick vocal from me? Very, very okay. quick. Very quick. Like a quick yeah. five second, okay, five um, second sort of vocal. And now that I am with you, baby. Yay! Oh, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. So that is what we can expect on the... So the date of it? 11th. The 11th, the 11th of yeah. November. November ICC Birmingham. Yes. Yay. Now we're just under a week until Halloween. The excitement is building, but do you know why we celebrate it, Taf? Mm, to be scary. Let's find out. Yeah. Um... Oh, gosh. I don't even know. I don't actually know. Like, now it's more like a cultural thing. I don't actually know the historical reason behind it, but it's just one of them things that young people just love doing, dressing up, going out. Like, the makeup over the years has just got so good as well, which is so interesting. Oh, it's because it's, it's all Americanized, isn't it? It's come over from America, so we've just followed suit. I don't know, it's just a tradition from America, isn't it? It's brought over from there, so I think it's just like a little ripple effect. Just to come up from US. Um, as a matter of fact, in my country, we don't really celebrate it. That's, so I don't really know. I hope I'm going to celebrate it here, and I'm looking forward. And I don't know, it's just another way of people having fun in a different way, probably. It's just another excuse to fill the, co fill the shops with stuff to make money with. You know, it's actually an interesting question because I genuinely don't know. I know a couple of them mentioned it was an American thing. Yeah. Do you know the answer? I have no clue. All I know is every Halloween I have to buy loads of sweets. My kids and I go trick-or-treating and yes, I do still take my kids trick-or-treating. <laughs> so even if I did know the meaning, I think it's kind of gotten lost in all the yeah. excitement of the kids dressing yeah. up and getting sweets. There's something to do with pagan background. I'm not too sure, but I'm not too let, sure. Me, let me not confuse you. I'm not 100% sure. I, yeah. I know that it's, it's an American link to it, and Stevie, speaking of American, you've got an American accent that I hear there. What is, where, where tell us uh, a bit about that. Well, you were born, born here, weren't you? I was born in the UK. Yeah. My parents are all Jamaica, West Indian. I grew up in New York, Brooklyn. You know, I was like two, two blocks down from Biggie. 
Oh, Biggie Biggie Small. 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 Biggie Food, and this time it's from Nakira's African restaurant. Nakira, Nakira, and Carl checks in with another film that may tickle your fancy. But first, though, it's Aaron's joke. It's usually bad, guys. I'll just let no, you know. No, my right joke now. is <laughs> good today. My joke is good today. So, guys, why did the piano player struggle to open the show? Anybody got an idea? He lost uh, his keys. Oh! 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 Is that after the break? <laughs> 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 